Hey, Happy Jack. Okay, this is what we've done so far. We have disconnected the parking brakes. We have removed the tail shaft. Not the tail shaft. We've removed the tailpipe. We've taken off the drive shaft. As you can see, it's sitting there on the floor. It's not hanging freely. So if it hangs and doesn't touch the ground, you're supposed to support it. Um, these U bolts are gone on this side. This shock is out. This has some encapsulated goofy setup that's not going back on. He has the shock out on that side. He's taking out the last of the U bolts. And I just have to disconnect the brake line. And this rear's out. So then we'll put these rears side by side and look at the difference. These are for three and three and a quarter. They put little nubs for a three inch tube. You take the little nubs off and the openings for three and a quarter. Um, we're gonna shorten them. I'm gonna shorten them down to the original AMC size. Be about there. We're gonna rest the rear up there first. And then we'll grind these and shorten these as they're nice. We put new bolts in. What's this? This is why you need a That's how much bigger the tube is. It's all the tell that way. But these just fit over. I think with this rear it's a half an inch. This is two and three quarters. That's three and a quarter. A little beef here. Just a tad. There you go. Not in, but just laying there. Right? We want to get in the light. Nice. Go put it in. There you go. I took those. I can't hold it spinning. I took those nibs off. Shorten them down. Then we're good to go. So we gotta just get these on there. Like that. And now I know you guys can't see nothing. So the other one's all cut. I just gotta uh, denib it. I'll do that right now. And that's it guys, we're shutting down. We uh got the purchase cut. Got them on the springs, got the rear rested on the spring, I jacked up the front pinion, went rough with the shaft, and um, I'm saying the shaft is about an inch and a half too long. That's just a rough guesstimate until I really get under there and I mount that companion flange on there. Um, I would say if it was buried into the tranny, you'd have to cut an inch off, so maybe even more than that. We'll get under there, we'll do it, we'll figure out the lens, but I gotta get the U-bolts on for that. Uh, tomorrow I'll just bring that companion flange to work and uh, I'll press the universal out of it. I gotta make a decision if I want to use my shaft or get a different shaft. Um, something a little beefier and just do it all in one shot. Uh, got a little time to decide. Next thing on the agenda is we gotta get U bolts and I gotta make plates for the bottom. 
Uh, then we can lock this thing down and uh, work on it from there.